Hey guys, so I know I look terrible, just <laughs> bear with me, but today's Sunday, today's Mother's Day, um, Jay and the kids just left to go visit his mother and I stayed back so I'm probably gonna record an all things Hashi video, um, but last night we stayed up till 4am because we were hanging out with my cousins just watching movies and eating junk food and stuff like that and then Jay's had a game at 9 o'clock this morning. And then we grabbed, like, you know, bagels and stuff for breakfast, came back home, and then I took a nap. Um, Jay laid down, too. I don't know how much sleep he got, because I think the kids, like, disturbed him a few times. But, um, I just wanted to come in and talk to you guys, and maybe there are people watching that are, are, grieving the loss of their mothers or their mother figures, their grandmothers, or perhaps they had children that passed away, you know, whether it was like miscarriages, stillbirths, you know, the kid got sick and died or whatever the reason is. Um, I know how hard Mother's Day could be. Um, Obviously, you guys know by now that I lost my mother. Um, tragically, she was hit by two cars. Drunk driver who hit her first and then another car who ran over her after. That's how my mother died. Uh, so obviously that was sudden and I was very pregnant. I think I was about seven months pregnant and um, that was in March, and then DC was born in May, and obviously Mother's Day is in May, and, um, this whole, like, yo, like, <laughs> it's so crazy, because the holidays are hard, like, it starts getting hard from, like, November, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and January is my birthday and then February is her birthday and March is the anniversary of her death. May is, you know, Mother's Day. And it would have been my first Mother's Day to have with my mom. We didn't get that opportunity. We didn't get that chance. If you didn't know, um, my aunt raised me, which is my mom's sister from the age of six on so like I miss my mom my entire life and then this would have been my first Mother's Day celebrating with her and I was so pregnant and she was so excited to meet DC and by then we already had DC's name picked out so she would like call DC by name when she spoke to my belly and that was taken from me and um when Mother's Day comes around, I remember, you know, me giving birth to DC, my first child. DC's birthday was on Thursday, May 11th. And when DC was born, it was like I was in the hospital for Mother's Day. So, um, I remember being in the hospital, and then the hospital came around with like a flower and a balloon, I believe, for, you know, all the mothers in the maternity ward. And I remember seeing so many families like walking past my door with flowers and balloons and gifts and everything visiting, you know, the people in the ward. And it was just me and Jay. That's it. Like, it was so lonely. And I was so sad, obviously, because it was my first Mother's Day being a mother, like I had a, DC was brand new, I think she was like a day or two old at this point, and I went through that experience without my mother, because I just lost her in March, so it's sad, um, some Mother's Days are easier than others for me, like it just comes in waves, it comes in waves, like, I was fine. I was fine leading up to Mother's Day. Everything was fine. I was feeling fine. You know, it is what it is. I just, I learned to cope, right? Um, but this morning, I was standing in line at the bagel shop. There was a long, long line. And I just opened up my phone to look at 
Facebook um, just to see, you know, I'm bored, I'm online, and I'm just scrolling and seeing so many, you know, happy Mother's Day posts and pictures of people with their mothers and just like pages and pages and pages and like really sweet messages to mothers and everything like that. And I'm just like, uh, it, it hit me at that point, like, ugh, just like, I don't know how to explain, it's just sudden. It's just a sudden rush of like emotion and sadness and pain. I just, oh, it just like it just took my breath away. And I just closed the Facebook app and I just, I had my hat on. I just put my hat down. And I just tried to just breathe it out, but uh, kind of set the tone. You know what I mean? Set my tone. It's hard. Um, it doesn't get easier. So, my best friend lost his mother in March, March 5th. So I text him, I told him that I love him and that, you know, if you need anything, I'm here. Because I know how hard it is. It's so hard. It's like, it doesn't get easier, you know what I mean? It's just, it's like that loss. That indefinite loss, like, I'm never going to see her again. I'm never going to talk to her again. It's so hard. <laughs> but I try to, you know, make the day pleasant for my kids. You know what I mean? They gave me gifts. Jay gave me a beautiful necklace. A little diamond necklace. You guys will see it. Um, uh, Jay drew me a beautiful picture. DC bought me makeup remover wipes. And, um... They got me a car and everything. It was really sweet. Like, I haven't gone to the cemetery yet. I don't know. I'll probably do that at some point today. Um, my family's home. My aunt is home upstairs. I haven't seen her yet. They went to church. I was gonna. I was wanting to go to church. I I knew I. That's what I wanted to do all week. But I didn't get enough sleep last night. You know? Jace's game and I just didn't have enough time and energy so I haven't seen my family yet and uh, I just text my aunt so far she's very much like a mother figure because she's the one who raised me so um, it's just been it's been you know a rough a rough one I wasn't expecting it to be rough <laughs> like I wasn't expecting to feel this way like I never I never really do like around the anniversary of her death I always kind of like not that I expect it but I kind of like you know I don't resist it you know what I mean I'm just like oh if I feel this way it's okay whatever but like around Mother's Day I try to like focus the day like on me like I'm a mother you know what I mean I try to enjoy the day but for some reason today it just I don't know, it hurts. <laughs> it's been 11 years and it still hurts so much. But I just wanted to talk to the people out there who might be struggling, like me. You know what I mean? It's okay to feel hurt. It's okay to miss them. I'm just trying to learn how to allow myself to feel and go through the emotions instead of resisting them and fighting them all the time. Maybe if I allow myself to feel this, allow myself to go through it, allow myself to cry, and not fight it like maybe it'll get easier I don't know I can't imagine a time that it'll be easy I just mean maybe it won't hurt as much maybe uh, I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna go I have my cousin texting me asking me if I'm okay I don't know why maybe she noticed that I didn't go with them with uh, Jay and the kids but I'm gonna go wipe my face just in case anybody comes down. I hate, like, I don't like when people know that I'm, like, in my 
regular life like I'm over here crying on camera to my subscribers but like in real life I don't like people to see me like look upset or whatever it's just like uh, I get not embarrassed but just kind of like I don't want people to pity me and like baby me like I don't want that kind of attention you know what I mean so I'm actually gonna try to put some makeup on I have like a little pimple I never get pimples but I've been so stressed out I'm gonna put some makeup on and see if I have time to do a Tashi video I want to do a wig unboxing review thing so anyways I'll talk to you guys happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there to all the caretakers even if you don't have children of your own and you help raise or you babysit and you help other people with their kids this day is also for you you're appreciated i love you guys i'm gonna catch you guys in my next one